I'm here with Connor at Sogitech HQ in Warwick, and we are stood in front of this AL60G die sink machine. So Connor, what is this machine and what does it do? Yeah, cheers Tom. So this is a uh, Sodic 3 axis linear die sink machine. So this is for the injection mold tool industry, so solid die sinking, uh, yeah, and anything in between really, any application you can find for it. So that's electrode to workpiece manufacture, so copper or graphite electrode onto any conductive workpiece basically, any hardness, any sort of material that's electrically conductive. So yeah, it's full three axis linear, so that's uh, linear X, Y and Z. And the advantage of that is there's no backlash and no wear, so the machine's going to be accurate for the whole lifetime of the machine. And talk me through the table, because yeah, that's so not... On a normal dicing machine? No, it isn't, no. So as you've seen with, with most of our products already, there's a heavy use of uh, ceramic components on the machine. And because of this, it's all about thermal stability. And we've got no loss of power there as well. So everything's very well insulated. So it's literally electrode to workpiece spark. We're not losing that into the cast or around the machine. Uh, yeah, and it's very stable as well. So we can just maintain a high level of accuracy. So we spoke about the machine itself, but talk me through the programming. Yeah, so the programming, it's all conversational on the uh, on the control. So it's basically, you can go in here, you can input your electrode shape to cavity definition. So we've got your standard features. So this is a standard sort of spark down and 2D orbit. We also have on here our 3D orbit patterns as well. So it's just spherical barrel shaped electrodes. We can get the right orbit pattern there. So. Simple, select which one we want off the display. We can put in our depth, our surface area, how many electrodes we're using. And then from that, the machine will work out all its information for the, uh, the technology settings. And then from there, once we've got that, we can just select our machining positions and generate a program and, and spark. Now, lastly, what is this behind me? Right, so that behind you there, that's the, uh, the Rover Compact 80. So that's a, a robot loader. So in there at the moment, we've got that configured so we can have six work pallets that you can see on the table and up to 83 electrodes. So it's basically just for continuous lights out running. Well, Connor, thank you. That was absolutely unbelievable. And if you would like any more information on this product or any other product at Sogitech, give them a call.